these are bands that I, uh, the first album that I heard by them was the album that I have here, and this is kind of uh, the part one, I guess you could say. And uh, I knew songs by these bands before that, but this is the very first album that I heard by the band, and it's not their debut album. So, one of my favorite bands, Jefferson Airplane. This is the uh, first album I heard by them, and man, it's right up there in my top two or three for Jefferson Airplane. Then a band that I got into early, Poco. I knew uh, picking up the pieces. I didn't never heard the album, but this is their third album, studio album, and uh, I fell in love with the band. And uh, I uh, my, most of my friends or all of my friends never listened to Poco at all. And uh, I was listening to uh, Allman Brothers and all that stuff at that time, but I was also looking for other stuff. And this album came along, and I was a big Poco fan up until Timothy B. Schmidt left, and then after that, not so much. Quicksilver's Live, well, I guess it's Studio Live or Live, I'm not quite sure, but this is a great album. This is Psychedelic Guitar. This is Twin Guitars exploring lots of different avenues, and uh, this is the first Quicksilver album I bought, heard, and uh, I would get many after that, I think most of their catalog. Then we have the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. This is their one, two, I think their third album. And uh, I listened to this over and over and over when it came out. And now I have most of the catalog that's available. I love them. It's one of my favorites. Top five band, the Ozarks, Mountain Daredevils. And a friend of mine had the eight track of this way back. And uh, played it over and over and over and over again. And uh, I still love Grand Funk Railroad. This is Grand Funk Live, of course. And for live albums, this is totally raw garage rock, and I love it. I love it. I know it's only rock and roll. And Bob Dylan, I was really knew about Bob Dylan, but until like a Rolling Stone came out, I was never into the music, although I have all the stuff now. But this album, it's still one of his top albums, Highway 61 Revisited. And then we have uh, Cheap Thrills with uh, Janis Joplin, of course, and I'm a big fan of the Big Brother era. And uh, after that, I mean, she put out some good stuff, but this is where it all happened right here with uh, Cheap Thrills. What a great cover by R. Crumb, too. He didn't even like the band. He would just, uh, he just did the cover for, probably for cash. And Alice Cooper, I've seen them before this album came out, but this is the first album I heard, and then I would go back and buy Easy Action and their other first album, Pretty's For You. But this is the one, this is the Alice Cooper album. This is top 10 album of all time for me. And then Elton John, of course your song was out before this, but this is the first album, and I bought this when I was kind of down and out when it came out. And... Uh, just has that feeling that it takes me back to that time. I mean, it brought up, it was uplifting, although it had, some of the music is kind of, it's not really down, but it's has that kind of feel to it, and uh, I can still listen to it. And Grateful Dead, I was introduced to them through this album, the first full album I heard, and uh, this is a psychedelic album, psychedelic cover, <laughs> and I got most of Grateful Dead up to the end of the 70s and their first album is still the one I still grab to play the most. So that's part one.